Morgan Barron took a blade to his eye. And that reminded me, didn't I see Ben Simpkins get hit in the eye or something? And I decided to look at the two videos together and just compare hockey players to NBA guys. Before I start this video, I do want to warn you guys, this is a brutally hard video to watch. The first time watching this, it made my stomach turn. I could hardly take it. It'll just make you queasy, so if you get nauseated easily, just beware. Maybe skip this part. So Ivy goes around to make a move. Boom, right there. Ben Simmons' nose almost came off of his face and landed in that lady's drink in the background. Look at him. Took him a second. Look, he went back to the locker room to change his tampon. I think that's what he's doing. He's probably checking to see if his nose is still on his face. That was an uncalled for disgusting act from number 23. Here it is again. Boom. Oh, that's hard to stomach. It really is. The dude went to the locker room. I think he was out for the rest of the game for that. Now compare that brutal hit on Ben Simmons' nose to this. And this time I'm being serious. This one, if you are squeamish, it actually is hard to watch if you can't take it. But it's not that bad. The dude turned out fine, but he did get lucky. Here we go. Let's get straight into it. Keep an eye on number 36 in white. Baron. Morgan Baron. As you can see right here, it's just a massive pile of bodies. It looks like a Travis Scott concert. The Golden Knights are trying to keep the puck out of the net. And the Jets are trying to get the puck into the net. People are flying all over each other. Now keep your eye on number 36 in white. He gets pushed down into the skate and his face just sits there. That is a blade. That is a knife. Narrowly missing his eyeball. Oh my god, that's just brutal to watch. And immediately you can see the blood pouring out of his face. There it is again. He gets right up under the visor. Oh my, the dude got extremely lucky that I didn't take his eye clean out. That's a knife at the bottom of that goalie's foot. That's a knife. The dude immediately goes to the locker room, obviously. Gets 75 stitches. My brother, he had a sledding accident. He had a disgusting gash on his knee. Like it was talking to you and stuff. I think he got about 8 or 9 stitches. And it was a thick gash. This dude really got 75 stitches. Have you ever heard of that many stitches? Because I sure haven't. His face could have got taken off. So you know what now? Stitch me up, Doc. I'll be back. <laughs> but here he is. Stitched up and everything. Got a smile on his face. He's now rocking the cage. Hockey guys are just different. Made me fall in love with the sport. No soft shit. That's what I love. I really do. He's got the tape on the eye. 75 stitches in place. Grin on his face. Look at his buddy. Probably chirping him. They go through massive hits on a nightly basis. Hockey and the NBA have the same damn schedule. 82 game seasons. They're beating the shit out of each other every other night. Also picking up hockey a little bit more this season. One funny thing that I did learn, what I've noticed, is whenever a hockey guy gets hurt, it's either upper body or lower body. Deuce Hammy could be hanging off his leg. Lower body injury, he'll be all right, eh? And then if LeBron hurts one of his fucked up toes, you know which toe it was, which toenail it was, the exact second it happened, the exact moment, He's going to make it back. What do you have for breakfast? What do you have for lunch? What do you have for dinner? I guess the point I'm trying to make is, if you're not into the NHL yet, get into it. Start right now because the first round of the NHL playoffs are happening currently. They just started. And if you're not watching it and you're watching NBA, you're missing out. That's all I got. See ya.